Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we will learn how to uh, use uh, an API to basically add a contact into a journey. So API REST, I will uh, call it to journey. So here, as you can see, I'm already starting to work on it by creating a new package, a new package that I will call API REST to journey. So it will be an API integration that is server to server. Here email, I will put all the permission. I will also uh, put all the permission for journey and I will also uh, access the data extension and tac, 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 uh, and that seems to be it. Okay, so I get my permission. Now I have created a few permissions. So what I will be able to do is to create a data extension. So I go in uh, email studio and here we will create the data extension. So how can we call it? Maybe uh, Postman API or REST API. So I go into data extension and here, as you can see, I have REST API. So I will click on create, create a standard data extension, uh, REST uh, API. Okay, so I copy that, tac, tac, sendable, yes. And then I create my field. So I will put a subscriber key. I will put uh, a first name, okay, a last name and an email. Okay, so here I put email address, here text, okay, primary key, null, 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 and here subscriber key. Okay, I create that. So now I've created my data extension for REST API and I want every record that goes into my journey to go directly into this data extension as a log basically. So I click on journey builder and now I will create the new journey. So that's the journey that my uh, people will enter basically. So it's a multi-step journey. I click on create. Here I want an email to be sent. So I will just select a random email. Um, so, and then for the entry source, that will be the interesting part. Uh, basically what we will do is we will, uh, tac, 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 okay. We will uh, use an API event and the API event will be by creating an event, will be set up by creating an event. And here we will come to select the data extension that we created together, REST API, okay. Down, everything seems to be good. Now I will go into the setting of my journey, can re-enter at any time. The attribute is email, tac, 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 okay, down, perfect. I, I validate and then I will activate my journey and then we will go into Postman to set up the, the system. So it's quite, uh, you will see it's quite uh, simple. Uh, so it will be interesting, I guess. So I will click on close. I will activate that. And uh, and then let's do, uh, let's jump into uh, Postman. So, okay, I'm in Postman. First thing I do, I search for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Salesforce Marketing Cloud, perfect. And here I will go in the store basically of uh, Postman. And this is the, the, the package basically. And here I will come to clone it. And I will uh, call that uh, tutorial, tutorial, okay. Okay, and then I will be redirected to my own store and then we will be able to work on it together. Okay, so now I'm redirected to my own store. So I go directly variable. I want to set up the different variable and I will do it here. Uh, and I think, so what I will do, What I will do here basically, sorry for that. Uh, I will come to put like the, the information that are requested. So where everything is, it's here. So client ID, uh, client secret, uh, so base URL. Uh, so this is a subdomain basically, MID, you can find it here. Uh, okay. And I think that sits at this stage. Now I'm going here. I'm going in REST authentication. And here I will uh, just check the authentication. Okay, yep. I will just take my, this, and I will just come to past it here. So usually it should be dynamic, but I don't know why, I, I, I don't understand why I cannot save like the first part. So we will do it this way. Uh, okay, uh, okay, there is an error. I think it's in header. Oh yes, sorry. Uh, so basically here I need to come to put the secret. Client ID. And client secret. And here. I put my MID. I save. I send. Okay. So I'm connected now, as you can see. Now I will go and get user info. And basically here I will just come to re uh, replace uh, this. And I will click on send. Okay, so as you can see here, I can really get uh, all the information related to the user that is part of the uh, the API uh, connection. 
And here now I will be able to go into interaction, journeys, and fire entry event. And I will go into body. And here I will just basically tack, tack. So here I will come to take some user from my preference center, for example. So I have three users, but I will pick one of them. So subscriber key 333666999. Okay. I will replace that that here. Uh, and then my email, Arthur plus one at sky. Okay. Uh, first name, Arthur, and last name, Bakush. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, what I need to put is the API. So, like as you can see, my journey have a key. I need to put this key just here to replace everything. Okay, so I save my event and I click on send. So there is a oh, the subdomain again. So I really need to fix this issue uh, on like why it's not dynamic, but I guess for the demo it's all right. Okay. So here, as you can see, I have the status 201. So here I have an event instance created. And if I go into, uh, into uh, email studio and I go into the REST API, like as you can see, I have one record. And, uh, and also the record is directly added here. So basically we have used an external system that is uh, Postman to create an API and to push the data within uh, Marketing Cloud. And now if we go into, uh, into uh, like this one, like we should have uh, some uh, analytics, like the, the basically like the, the, uh, the, the journey will take some data and we'll, uh, we'll come to, uh, to, to push an email. But it can take a, a few seconds before I, I receive. So what I will do is I will just wait a few. Ah, as you can see, there is already one entry. And, uh, and uh, this entry should be, uh, so there is one email that has been sent and now it's here. As you can see, that's how you can uh, leverage um, the REST API in Marketing Cloud and also Postman uh, to, uh, to send a record from an external system to a journey in Marketing Cloud. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.